Hey guys, so I just got home and took a shower and I was like, well, I wanted to kind of shoot something, but I wasn't really sure what I wanted to shoot. And then I looked around the house and it's, uh, the house is not clean, but I was like, well, maybe I'll show off our Star Wars collection. And so we have a lot of art, we have a lot of autographs, we have a lot of, um, action figures, all, all sorts of stuff. So I'll just go around the house and give you a little tour of our stuff. And one of the pieces is right here. It's, uh, the artist's name is Angela Mc, Mc, uh, Kendrick, and she's based out of Maryland, I believe. I've got this piece, and the next one I'll show you, but I'll show you. So this is one of her pieces that uh, we bought several years ago. And, yep, there it is. And then... Over here is her 501st uh, Stormtrooper, and you think a Sith is tough? Try being a Stormtrooper. And then right here is a piece, uh, Chris isn't here right now so I can't ask him, uh, but he got this down at Disney. Um, it's pretty awesome, it's, you know, it's Donald Duck as a Stormtrooper, and if you look at his little, little beaky Stormtrooper helmet, it's pretty freaking awesome. I really like this piece. And I'll show you how dirty our kitchen is. Well, it's not really dirty, it's just we got our carpets cleaned and so we haven't moved all, everything back in its place. There's a mythosaur skull and then this pretty awesome little piece. Uh, I think Chris's mom got it. I'm like leaning over the dog crate. But um, it's a wampa. Uh, like, I think she's supposed to be like Leia. Uh, I don't know what that is. I can't see it really well. And the Tom Tom and a little miniature AT-80 -AT, and they're like having a little tea party. Oh, that's the Imperial Probe Droid. It's so hard to tell. I think that's the only thing I don't like about this. It's so, the colors are so muted. Uh, well, I mean, I have the small camera. I can hide it. I don't know who did that print. I, it's, I think it was a gift. I don't remember who did that one, um, but it's pretty cool. It's kind of cute. Chris's mother, our house is a disaster, so sorry. Chris's mother got us this for Christmas last year, I think. And then one of our Anovos uh, Force Awakens helmet. Indy again. Indy, Indy. And then we just actually just got these today. Um, uh, shoot, Herofied Art. He was having a sale, buy one, get one free. Uh, so I bought this Commander Cody art, which I love, clones. Um, not as much as my friend Emily, uh, but I thought it was awesome. My stickers came in today, so I, I'm excited about that. Uh, but it was buy one, get one free, so I bought this one. And it's signed by him. And then I got the snowtrooper print because my fiance, like I've said, my fiance loves snowtroopers. So it has the Force Away or First Order uh, snowtrooper commander, um, then the regular snowtrooper, and the Galactic Marine. So prequel original. No, it just stopped. So this is prequel original trilogy and then First Order. So, prequel, original, new. And then I got this little pin. Um, my friend's kitten, or not really kitten, she was 13, I believe. Uh, her cat passed away, and so she was selling these uh, to help pay for her vet bills. It's her mascot. The cat's name was Leia, so um, it's $10. I'll put the link, and uh, It'll help her pay for her vet bills. Because fur babies are so important to us. Yes, fur babies are important. So, this is our little mini snowtrooper shrine. Do you want to help me talk? Uh, sure. <laughs> use all one cut? Yeah, I probably should have used my regular camera. <clears throat> 
but this one's smaller. This is my very over overpaid. He's uh, home now. He, he just came home, so he could talk about this. Items. So I'm not really sure. Where show it, where, him. Yeah. Show them your the the fur, the wampa fur. So that's screen used wampa fur. My very first actual collectible item I ever bought. That's actually purchased from screen use or from, from from production. Unfortunately, the lawyer I bought the stuff from because I bought it from a guy whose wife was leaving him and taking all his stuff, and he needed to sell stuff to make money back back to pay her back. So I got that for really cheap. Didn't give me a COA with it, unfortunately. Um, Certificate of onth authenticity. Of authenticity. Yeah. But it's legit. I know it's legit. But I'm never selling it, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, up here. It is not a snow chipper related, but it's sort of Hoth related because he's, that's a production made uh, patch used for the crew when we're filming in Fence, Norway for all the external Hoth sequences like with like with uh, Han and, and Luke running around the snow. He won't tell me how much it, he spent on it. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> but everything else here is pretty much snow chipper oriented. It's a little bit um, of a, we should show uh, wood shocks. Oh, yes. This is a, my detachment's uh, logo. I had Woodchuck, a uh, friend of ours in, uh, in Alcala, Florida. He's a master wood craftsman. He made this for me. Basically, if you've seen those those Tauntaun um, rocking chairs, rocking chairs, mm -hmm. uh, that that's actually him. He actually created those. Um, he makes them every few, like like every like every <laughs> once in a while, yeah, he he often, makes but... them. So if I can find a picture, I'll put it in the in in right here. But if I can't, then I won't post the picture. <laughs> so everything else here is obviously central related. Even down to, I got, these are Polish bootlegs from the 80s. Very, uh, very fragile, unfortunately, but they're not terribly hard to get, but they're, they're, they're out there. This is your first snow trooper helmet. No, 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 this is the No, this is one. my first one. This is, this oh, is this my, is the this first my, one? This is, no, it's not. It's my oh, current okay. tripping helmet. Um, I got. I mean, I can talk all for days. I know, so we're not going to talk. But we're just going to show you a little bit, because that could. This could be its own video. Yeah, it could be. And that's the Snow Trooper Commander helmet. This is like a plushie he got. <laughs> this is him, right? This is you, right? Yes. Yeah, that's him. He's a man. That's the, this is a ditto. <laughs> and then like pins that we've uh, I got this for you for like a birthday, I think. Yeah, you got that for me for my birthday. And then like, you know I I forgot what these are called. Oh uh, little vomitations from Disney, so yeah. like games back in the day. And then all these little guys and there's me as Rose. <laughs> That's a little mess, I guess. A little zoom zoom snow trooper. Oh, and then these guys. Yeah, that's a that's a story right there. Yeah, we won't go into that. That's a complicated story. What is this? Is this that's sticker? a card from uh, from Rachel. Oh, it's a card from Rachel. Yeah. Oh, another little zoom zoom. Another AT -AT driver. AT-AT driver. A little a mug. Disaster. <laughs> we need to figure out a better way to display your. Yeah, this is something I got the other day. Oh yeah, this thing. It's a production call sheet. From my first strikes back from for the shooting day of Thursday, the 29th of March, 1979. This is the first only call she had found so far that actually mentions uh, snow chippers. And called for seven snow chippers. And uh, you got Des Webbs, also Wampa, and then 15 Rebel Troopers. There's a famous uh, deleted scene sequences uh, with the Wampa crashing into Echo Base. I'm pretty sure that this was related to that. As well as another deleted scene with Snow Troopers that never actually got filmed, or at least not released, but yeah. I got this for you. I got that for him for birthday? Like last year, I think? Or Christmas? It was yeah. birthday. It was yeah, birthday. birthday. Yeah. This lady made it. It's so cool. She added blue, I think, to highlight it. And the custom zombie. Oh, the custom zombie figure. Actually, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a zombie. I think it's supposed to be a, a Wampa attack oh, survivor. Oh, Wampa attack survivor. Yeah. He doesn't really look like he survived very yeah. well. Yeah, I got this on a. I found a guy on Instagram who, who made this. He posted like, "Hey, you want to sell it?" He's like, "Yeah, sure." And we have some other stuff, but we we really need to figure out a better way to display it. Yeah, there's only part of it. <laughs> oh, and there's Tim Rose. We got his autograph. 
an awesome con? Yeah, it was awesome con. Oh, well, I wasn't there for that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got this one. And then our good friend John uh, Morton, Morton, he plays Dak and also Bessip and Boba. Uh, we have his autograph. And that is with, that's me as Django Fett, uh, Jeremy Bullock, who plays Boba Fett. That's my friend Emily. She does a, um, not commander, a Captain Rex. There's Clone Daddy himself, Tamora Morrison. There's our friend Mitch. They compete who's my favorite son because he does Boba Fett and she does Captain Rex. There's uh, shit, Daniel Logan. Daniel Logan. <laughs> I almost forgot his name. Uh, he plays young Boba Fett. And there's my fiance looking adorable as Montross. And yep. Gigantic. Yep. He like towers over us. Uh, so yeah, so we also brought a picture, of, we brought this picture actually with us uh, because they didn't invite John Morton to that celebration that year and we wanted him to be in the photo with all the other Boba Fetts and Fetts. So yes. Oops, hey puppy. Oh, and then you have more. So these are all... Those aren't all, if you, those are all the actual trading cards for the most part. If you, yeah. If you go to the second one, that's all the... Oh, this is the trading cards. Yeah. India's like this trying is. to... Not all my sketch words in a long level. The dog Easy. is like... <laughs> and then some of his sketch cards. I know, puppy. Thank you. Thank you for the kiss. Oh. He says, I'm a Star Wars dog. <laughs> and then these are five of first patches. The, what are they called? Rockers? When they're just oh, no. These are just back, like oversized back patches. Oh, um, back patches. This is a gift for my birthday for my uh, my detachment. Uh, I guess, you know, she's a merch officer, but also a PR officer. Oh yeah, officer. so this is from Rachel. Rachel. And these were all all, all but one are. Uh, what? Yeah, oh, the key. light. Oh, we don't have a hallway light. There's no, no, we don't actually. <laughs> Whoops. Well, there's the bathroom light. All these except one are prototype one-off prototypes, so they're they're one-offs and no one will ever have them but me. Yep. I collect them. And she gives it to me. Oh, and another snowtrooper. That's my very. That's actually a, a commission I did at a convention of me. And then we have him as Montross. Very chibi ish. Very cute. Yeah, I like it. And then we have. Was this Battlefront poster? Yeah. There we go, and there's Halo. Oh, this is like her. Oh, he fell down. I got this for Chris for Christmas last year. It was the Christmas I got you the samurai. Yeah. So it's a very cool samurai snowtrooper. Maybe I'll pull him closer. So he's pretty awesome. He fell over. Okay. He's a little top heavy. Okay, we'll fix him later. And then this is just a mini bust. I'll talk about that in a moment. That's the Macquarie art bust, and that's, you know, Force, I mean, I keep saying Force Awakens, but uh, First Order Snowy, and another classic Snowy. Um, and then this is a gift from my fiance. He proposed to me, and he made, he, he did this all by himself. Well, with help from friends. Mm -hmm. um, my friend, uh, Sarah, Sarah. Sarah did the stenciling, yeah, she actually recreated the patterns for me, and uh, I was very particular about the details, of course, and she was really patient with me, and we got them looking pretty decent, and um, I won't bore you with the details, but it's a very, very painful process to make it look right. I'll show you the back of it. And building the helmet was not a fun process. I love it. Even the, the lenses were custom made for it. I don't know if you can tell in the, in the video. Yeah, because it's kind of dark. But they're blue. Like yeah, you kind of see it. T tilt it down just a little bit. There you go. You can see it there. Yeah. I wanted him to make the entire costume. He I'm said no. He said no. I'm upset. Just a little bit. I'm not upset. Not really. And then I brought the light because this room doesn't get good lighting. Uh, Chris's mom got me that. It's not Star Wars. I don't know why I showed it to you. A lot of these are our Star Wars coins. Well, Chris's. I can't say it's mine. 
501st Legion has a lot of challenge coins, so it's a lot of cool merchandise that you can get. Let me open, so... Oh, don't open it, okay. Okay, if you want. I don't want them spilling out. And that art print you got... We got that at an uh, awesome con one here. The guy saw the original print debating getting. But... So it's pretty awesome. I really like the... It's a cool design. And then... We have yet to hang this up. But we got this droid print. This R2 print. And then this. I think I got this from Kim. Who's my best friend. And then I guess we'll go up before we go down. So another snowtrooper. Imagine that. Do you get the general theme in this house? <laughs> uh, Bays. Uh, little vinyl. Uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn. This halo. Little Montross. There's Dead Mouse. Um, a little another vinyl of Captain Phasma. My friend got this for us because it had Snowtrooper. We did not run the half marathon. We had Bulba. And then Trump Chicken. And then Melisandre and Gandalf and... Oh, oh sm Schmog. However you want to say Schmog. it. Schmog. Little Falcon, Millennium Falcon plushie. And more stuff. <laughs> As you could tell, we have a lot. Oh, I want to show the plushie because this is awesome. Oh, but, oh, shit. Okay. Man down. What is that? It was a TIE fighter. No, oh, Inferno Squad. Yeah. Inferno Squad. Oh, we need. Oh, this is. It's okay. Well, this is going crazy. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, this is fine. I can tell you all this. But. Well, we also need to reorganize everything. Little Wampa plushie. He's falling asleep back there. This teddy bear is uh oh. more snowtrooper stuff. My Halloween cat. <laughs> this teddy bear is made by uh so by one of my detachment members in Japan. Oh shoot. Oh, he's a professional oh, teddy bear maker. And um in two thousand eleven when the tsunami uh was causing devastation in Japan, he went on his way to make a bunch of these for charity to raise money for charity. And I was able to get one from him. Really nice dude. Really cool bit, teddy bear. So. So cute. I love it. Yeah. So these are, I'm going to say it wrongly because it drives Chris crazy. The Wee Stars. They're yes. really Westers. How do you say it? West, 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 West Stars. Blasters. West Star Blasters. These are museum replica. They're worth a lot, a lot of money. They're absolutely amazingly beautiful. They're Django Fett's blasters, if you don't want, know what that means. Uh, so yes, these are, what are they, these are like, what, $1,500? Uh, I didn't pay that much. I know you didn't pay, I forgot how much you said you paid. This is my helmet, my my love, my Django Fett helmet, I love it. Oh, can you hold it? Yeah. You know what Django's are? Yeah. So this is my Django Fett helmet. It's signed by... To more and more, is it somewhere? Where did he sign it? Oh, I don't sure think you can. Probably point the light. You can see it right there. He signed it right there. Yep. So, yep. Just trying to get their mess out of Oh, I forgot the pad's not in it, so the spiky things are. Poking. The resin is poking your head. But yeah. Oh, my hair is stuck in my battery. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> So yes, this is my pride and joy. Chris actually did the paint job. I bought it a long time ago, before I even knew Chris. Uh, but he finished it. He did it all by himself. Yeah, that's the reason you, you started dating me. Was, no, it wasn't the reason I started Django. dating you. Yeah, well, you didn't know I had I was, a Django build. You just got Stockholm Syndrome after I, by the time I finished the costume. <laughs> oh, it's a Disney pin. Not Star Wars related, but it's one of my favorites. <laughs> But yes, so this is like the Django corner, apparently. And then Montross. It was Django's foe. He is like a yellow mark. And also he's like 6'7", like Chris is. Well, I don't know if he's that big. But well, he's really tall. I'm probably like taller than him. So this is what he looks like in the comics. Is he with Jaster? And this is Jaster. Yeah, Jaster. He, he taught both Django and 
Montross, right? Well, Montross is like a second in command. Oh, okay. He, he, raised, he, 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 he brought his agenda. And then this is more stuff in Harry Potter. He's like disheveled. And then this is actually less Star Wars and more other stuff. And then we have some lightsabers. Gosh, how much stuff do we have? <laughs> and then more stuff. And then Chris's father did this painting. Chris's father is an artist. So he did that off of a picture of Chris. And then we just have random corners of Star Wars stuff. <laughs> and more Star Wars stuff. <laughs> Star Wars stuff. We have a lot of Star Wars stuff. So, where's Indy? Oh, there he is. Indy. He says, I want a Star Wars costume. Do you want a Star Wars costume? Do you? Yes. <laughs> So thank you guys. I didn't really know what to shoot tonight, but I wanted to shoot, so this is probably awful footage, but I hope you liked a sneak peek at my Star Wars, our Star Wars collection, because really a lot of it is Chris's. Um, but yeah, so until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Hey guys, I forgot to ask a giveaway question before I ended the video. Uh, so the question is simple, of all the things that we showed you, what did you think was what it, it was coolest or was your favorite, either or. Um, and to be entered into the contest, you have to like my channel, or like this video, uh, subscribe to my channel, and make sure your settings are set to public so that I can verify that, and also answer the question. And so yeah, you'll get a cool sticker, one of my new stickers and also uh, a pin trading monthly box um and any little other little things i add to your little giveaway box um so until next time have a magical day